Hi, it's Mary with All That's Crafty, and I have the Doodlebug haul I was telling you guys about if you watched my previous haul. This company that I ordered this from is called AllScrapbookSteals.com, and I ordered a very large order. The total of my order was $134.52. And it did not include any shipping or tax. It does include a 99 cents handling fee that they always add to orders. And the only reason I bring this up is when I placed this order back on, golly, like the 17th of March, I ordered this stuff so I could make some Easter decorations and that Thursday, I got my box. I was so excited. I opened it up, and I thought, oh, this box looks a little small. But I opened it up only to discover that I was sent somebody else's order. And their order was like $19.80 because it had their ticket in it with all the information. I called the company immediately, and basically, they have fixed it. But... It took a couple of phone calls, and at first what they were wanting to do was for me to wait till this other person who got my order to put a label on it and mail it to me. And that made me a bit frustrated because that person sitting on $136 or whatever, it's $150 worth of product they didn't pay for. What's the incentive for them to put my stuff in the mail? And there that's way so I don't think I need to wait they need to repack my order and send it to me and so she said she was going to do that so Monday I didn't get a new tracking invoice Tuesday I call them back and I said hey and she's we went through this whole thing again and I said well I was under the impression you were going to ship this stuff to me and so they did that day she put it in the mail that day and now I have a shipping label to put on the label of the package to send to the other person and there are two things I'm missing from my order one is the September skies wood veneer because they are sold out so if that lady returns that product to all scrapbook steals then they will forward the wood veneers to me if not they're supposed to refund my money and then one of my Easter Parade icon stickers were not, you know, they didn't have two in stock. So they sent me the one and they're supposed to send me the other one when it comes in stock. So um, they did fix it, so I'm happy about it. But the notion that I was supposed to wait for this person who never called the company when she got the wrong box... I'm not waiting for somebody else to be a good Samaritan and do what they're supposed to and be honorable and send the package back or forward it to me. You know, that's not my problem. I don't need to wait. So that was upsetting. But enough of the rant. Enough of that. Whew. Let me just share with you what I got. I did get some good deals, but um, they do charge $5.99 shipping or you get free with $125. So the first thing I have is I'll zoom in here a little bit. I got lots of doodlebug. You know me, I love my doodlebug. So this is Mini Pearl Swimming Pool Assortment. And I always like it when people share, you know, how much they spent for something because knowing you got it's one thing, how much you paid for it is another. Um, these were $374. And then I got the Limeade sprinkles and the unfortunate thing is I can't look at this very fast and see what the price is so I might not do that these were $2.99 some of this stuff was a better buy than other things the bumblebee ones were $3.74 so you can see it varied but I got the bumblebee sprinkles the bumblebee jewels the red right and blue assortment of stars and the silver ones here glitter oops sorry they have glitter in them the clear silver with glitter so then i got the doodle pops cardstock sticker of the little jar it's not very big if you're not familiar with doodle pop stickers they are over a dollar so it's just you either really just have to love them to 
to get them. So it's like less than two and a half. Let me back this up a little bit. It's less than, oops, so sorry. It's less than two and a half inches tall. So, but it's so sweet. So I got that one. The treat bags for a doodle bug, 15 count treat bags. And then I also got some more of these things. This is the spring flower, 24 count. I got two of those. This is the bright glitter assortment, 45 count. And I've got three of those. And those are the clear ones with glitter. And then these are the just the solid spring assortment, epoxy looking sprinkles. And then I got three of those. This is um, Echo Park paper that they had on sale as well. This is the Sunny Days Ahead. Oh, let me get a knife. I, did, I didn't grab a knife to open these. I apologize for that. Slow me down. So let me grab my little Tim scissors here and pop these open because I love to see the inside of folks' paper just in case you haven't seen it before. These are double-sided, so you get 24 sheets of double-sided paper. So let's flip through that. Cut apart sheet, give you an idea. Let's back away again so you can see better. Sorry. All right, here we go. Aren't those umbrellas adorable? Then you have that. Some stripes and a solid. Little Easter eggs, some carrots. Flowers are real pretty. Look how much that matches the doodle bug, really. So it's little softer colors, but still pretty. And then we have that. It's really pretty with Easter. Little chicks in and out of eggs. Little bunny rabbit tone on tone. And then back to the same again. Oh, there's some boots on that one. And then the umbrellas. I missed the boots first time. So anywho, that is the sunny days ahead from Echo Park. I did get one of these... Um, Doodles tags. This is like little cardstock stickers from Doodlebug, of course, for 4th of July. Then I got this Echo Park paper here. This one is Birthday Wishes by, um, of course, Doodlebug. And there's also, again, 24 double sided sheets. So let me flip through this for you. Birthday candles, so cute. Cakes. And this is, you know, more of a boy themed paper. So, love, look at that. Isn't that cute for boys? Hope you guys can see it. So, and then it's going to repeat. So, it does it. So, you get three of each design. So, really cute. And this is 64 pound cardstock. Then I got the girl collection because I have a grandson and a granddaughter. I thought it would be good to have boy and girl paper. Plus, the way you have boy and girls if, for cards to make. So we'll go through this one real quick. Starts with the candles. It's just the same paper, basically, just a total different color palette. So really cute and girly. So there you have it. That is the Echo Park birthday wishes for the girls. And then here is a doodlebug pad. This one is Hello Sunshine get this to cut open. Didn't mean to do that beforehand. So I love the bright colors of Doodlebug. Look at that. They just like, wow, it's Doodlebug. So really pretty. So love these little cut aparts. So and look at that like zigzag chevron. Oh my gosh, so bright. Cute cut aparts there. Cute, cute, cute. Look at that. So and this is the first time I myself am opening, you know, of course, these papers and getting to look at them with you. Look at that cut apart sheet. How cute. Oh my goodness. Love this. And then we're going to start all over. How cute. Love that. Put this one closer to the camera so you can see it does have the colors. It's just not as bright as the other ones but they're they're still there they're just smaller and softer I think so I got two of the hello sunshines I did use this at Christmas and um, I know it's Christmas paper but if 
you are a fan of Doodlebug, you may not have seen it, or if you're new to card making and stuff and you're finding Doodlebug for the first time, this was such a beautiful pad. I used so much of this up at Christmas, I wanted more of it because this is so me. So this is Frosty Friends, so I had to get another one of the Frosty Friends. And then they had these on sale. These were a really good deal too. These Echo Park um, dots and stripes. I'm seeing if I can find the $7.50 each for these 8x8 eight eight pads. So let me open this. And there are two different color um, palettes that I picked. This is a brighter one. And they had several to choose from. This is just the two that I picked. So you have that orange, the pink, that teal. This is a brighter teal, softer teal, you know, lime green, and a red. And so, and then the pink. So it just repeats itself. So I thought it was super for adding to cards and just had some really great, just great patterns that are simple not too busy and then this was the pastel version and great for Easter or baby cards or if you just want a soft card so you can see the colors there and it repeats like the other one does so we have two of the doodle bugs and then this is what I was wanting for for the craft project one of them is the spring flowers there's over 35 reversible mix and match floral pieces and so I could not wait to get this and that just gives you an idea of some of them on the back and so I got two of those and then this was the other one I wanted and there's also 36 reversible Easter die cuts in here so you have eggs and the characters and the carrots and stuff so you can see them there so I wanted to make some Easter like little village houses and stuff because I have a silhouette machine I thought it'd be so cute I've got where you can cut out houses so I thought I could cut these houses out on my silhouette decorate them up with the Easter paper and the little characters here and have a little cute Easter village to decorate my piano but we'll see if I get to it because my order didn't get here and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time so we'll see and then I got um, this sheet of the glittered zigzag paper and this one. This one is called Bubblegum, I think this one is. And this one is Cupcake. Yeah, this one's Cupcake and this one's Bubblegum. Glittered card stock. Just got one each of those. And then I got the stickers. This one is the... I don't want to mess up. Where's the name? Well, they match the paper pads that I got, like Hello Sunshine, and there's an Easter one, so this one is the Hello Sunshine, because it's more spring. So isn't that cute with all those little icon stickers on it? Super, super adorable. So I got two, and then I got the Easter, I think this is trying to find how no, it is hello sunshine but I know there's two different ones so forgive me one's hello sunshine and one is something else but I don't know which if you really want to know let me know and I will figure it out for you but cute 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 so the one on the top I'm missing one of those from my order then I got this July 4th one super cute and then I, I threw in one of the frosty friends and then I got the hello sunshine paper collection so you get this sticker sheet here and I got one vellum sheet so let me open this really quickly because this is what I wanted to make the houses out of that I was sharing about so this is really pretty this is like a vellum shapes and you can see it's like raindrops maybe on there I hope you can tell 
So this is the Sprinkle Shapes Vellum, and it's a teal. And then they had this, they, oh, it is Easter Parade. Okay, so one's Hello Sunshine, the other is Easter Parade. So this is the Easter Parade paper. So beautiful stripes. And then your little chicks with their bows on top of them. So really cute. And then this one with the flowers. And then you've got these great cut-aparts here for cards. Super, super cute. So I got two of those. Then you have the eggs. And then the reverse is the jelly beans. So I got two of those. And then this one has the rabbit you know everything going on back there and then the other side I think is more cut apart yeah so there's the cut aparts there little four by fours aren't they adorable make sure you can see them so I got two of those and then this one has the bunnies on one side and the carrots on the other so there's two of those and then just the the one sticker sheet so love this little paper oh my goodness it's so cute so and I thought I got one but no there I was freaking about that but no I did get two of this one also I just missed it when we when I first picked it up so anywho let me move this out of the way and show you what else I got and I think I ordered the sticker and the sheets separate and I think it was cheaper than ordering it in the little bundle um, that they had together from the company um, I think that's how I did it then I got these uh, snap color vibe and you can see the real pretty colors here and these I also wanted to use for making the villages because I thought they were really pretty. So I've got two of these. And this is Soft, Sunny, and Light Color Vibe Lights 12 by 12 paper kits. And you have eight sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So that's one, that's one. So that's the front and back. So. And then here is another collection I got. This one is the Happy Easter. And that's a sticker sheet, cut apart, and everything in here. So let me open this one up for you. So this is just the sheet they give you to cover. This is the Happy Easter Collection Kit. So this is the actual kit I bought on that one. So here's your first cut apart. Super cute. Hope you can see them all. There's that one there. And then two sheets. They have this 12 by 12 strips up the side. So that's pretty cute. And then your tone on tone bunnies. So I got two of those. More Easter eggs. Got two of those. And so there's the back side, the polka dot. Carrots. I like the carrots. They're not as condensed as the carrot page with the brown background. So I kind of like that a little bit better myself. And there's two of these. Let me flip it over. See the A and B side. So got some green. And then this is oh, like so pretty. And then the B side of that is this awesome plaid, which I totally love. So really, really cute. And then this one with the words. Flip that over. Love that. That's like a quatrefoil. This this sheet is actually called Easter Words. And then let's see. So there's two of those. And then the last one, I think, perhaps, it's this little chick. And then you turn it over and it has this gingham look. And it's called Chicks on that page. And that is the end of the card stock. And then you flip that over and you have Happy Easter sticker sheet. And then they call them the Element Stickers. So, let you see those. And you've got ABCs, 
This is all individual eggs, some Easter words up there, and then all of these sheets of paper here. So I'm going to put these back on top of the stack. And then they did send a free gift, which was nice. Usually I get just like a, a little one of the American craft ribbons in the box, but this time they included this little bit of cardstock. This is burlap and boutiques. Yeah, bouquets, sorry. Burlap and bouquets. Um, it's pretty. It's um, not me necessarily, but it is pretty, I will say that. And then these are just okay. Um, polka dot, but it does have a ombre effect where you're going from one color to the next, you know, lighting down. And this is by Fancy Pants, and it's all part of the same collection. This is a nice neutral, kind of looks like paintbrush strokes, tone on tone really can't see much about it kind of simple and then this yellow background with some doilies it's called vintage and then that is some polka dots so they sent me three 12 by 12 sheets of paper um, from this collection burlap and bouquet so that's it for my all scrapbook steals haul thanks for joining me and up next is my great awesome haul that I got from the annual yard sale that I attended and cannot wait to film that and share that with you too. Thanks for watching and I hope you have time to make something crafty for you or someone in your life. Bye!